Hello, this week we're going to be going over adding a table to your WordPress website. Um, you're going to be able to add images, uh, data, links. You're going to be able to do all of it without any HTML knowledge. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials that give you the keys to web presence, putting the fast thing success. Uh, plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com slash tutorials. Uh, with that, we'll get started. You know, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to add add any of this without any HTML, and this just makes it a lot easier. We are going to install a plugin to do this, so go down to plugins, hit add new. Alright, then what we're going to do is go to the search box and type in table press. I also included a link in the description of the video where you can download this directly from the, you know, the WordPress directory. So this is table press. Uh, it is, you can see, the, pre the successor of WP Table Reloaded. They're by the same author, so um, even though it says that it's in the beta set, beta stage, it basically is WordPress Table Reloaded, but with some improvements, and it's going to continue improving. So definitely go with Table Press. That's going to allow you to add the um, images and the links without any HTML knowledge. So what we're going to do is hit Install Now. Table Press. Activate the plugin. Once that's done, you're going to have right on the left side here, you're going to have um, table press added. So we're going to go to add new table. You can also import a table from uh, CSV. Uh, we're not, I'm not going to do that right now in this tutorial, but it's pretty straightforward. You just make your table, if it's, a, if it's just a bunch of data, um, you know, if you have a table that has like 700 values, you know, it makes sense to do it all on CSV and then just import it directly. But that's not something we're going to really go over in this tutorial. It's pretty straightforward, though. You just hit import up here. So now that we have this window, we're going to um, add our table name. So I'll say test table. All right. Then you can put in the description. I usually don't. You have the option to show it. I just never add one. And it's not a big deal if you don't. So number of rows, we'll do three. Columns, we'll do two. OK. Now I'm going down, and I'll hit add table. Okay, so once I add the table, you can see that I have these different rows that I, and cells that I can add stuff to. So let's just add in some numbers. So I'll say 298. I'm just going to put these all in. And before we go over some of the some of the other settings that you can adjust to, you know, make your tables look the way you want, let's just talk about um, how to add the table to a page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my site in a new tab. I want to. I'm just going to add it to my um, how about schedule page. That sounds like a place you would probably put a table like this. All right. So now that I'm here, in your visual editor and also in the HTML editor, you have um, an extra icon called Insert a Table from Table Press. So we'll click on that. Um, if you couldn't see that, this is what the icon looks like right here. So click on that, and then you're going to have right here your tables. We only have one, so we're just going to insert that one. And that's going to put it right in your post. You hit Update, view the page. All right, and then you can see our nice table here. They can sort it if they want. This is a search, allow you, but you know, we have a very small table here. We don't really need all these additional things. Um, also, this isn't the top of the table. That's the, um, let's go over that now. So when you go back to editing the table, as you scroll down, you have all these other options. So table head row, the first row of the table is table header. So what does that mean? See how it's highlighting this automatically? It's assuming that that's kind of the labels for your table. So let's say if I wanted to change that, so I say, let's say, I'll, I'll rename these to make them make them make them more blue, black. So blue has 400. So I got blue, black, and if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just separating these. And then we'll say color, and we'll say total. All right. So now that I've done that, I'll save it. I'll go back here, refresh. And you can see why the table head makes a difference. See how it says it kind of highlights what each column represents. Um, if that wasn't the case, if you just had pure numbers in there and you didn't want a highlighted area, you could also go back to your table editor 
and click the first row of the table is not the header by unchecking that box. And once you do that, you go back and you notice that it's no longer highlighted. You also have the option to allow the background colors uh, to alternate. So you can see how on the table this color is a little darker, this is lighter, this is darker. Um, I prefer to do that. It makes it easier for the user to read. And then you can also control if there's a hover. I also prefer it there to be a hover. But if you wanted to turn those two off, just uncheck these two boxes. All right. Now let's hit save. And you can tell once I started taking some of these things out of here, um, all that data sorting and everything got taken out also, so it just looks cleaner on the page. And there's only three. Um, people that aren't logged into the website will not see these two edit buttons. If you, if I X out of here and I was just on my page and I wanted to edit this table, you can just hit this quick link right under the table for edit, and it'll bring you right to editing the table that way just makes things um, easier. All right, so that's all pretty uh, pretty well and good. So once you do that, um, you might want to start adding some, some images. So let's say I want to add an image into this cell. What you would do is you can click in it, and then you can click Advanced Editor, and then click the cell again hit OK and then hit the cell again and that'll bring up this box. You can also just go to the cell, hold down shift and then click in the cell and it'll also bring up this box. So I'm going to delete blue and to add an image you need the URL. So what we'll do is go up in the top. I'm going to go to my media library. So try to get there. So you want to pick the image that you want to go in the cell. So in your media library, um, I'm going to add this one right here. So I want to add this image to my table. I'm going to hit edit. Okay. Once I do that, I'm going to go over and get my file URL. I'm going to like triple click into that. Copy. Come back out. Go back to my table. Now remember, I want to add it to this cell here. Click on that. And then in this window here, I'm going to click on IMG. And then I'm going to paste that URL that I got out of my media library. Description, um, AdWords. That's what the banner was for. All right. So now that that's in there, come out, hit OK. And you can see that it has added the the code in for the image. You can ignore that. I mean, we're not trying. We're not here to be uh, coders, but at least the image will be in there, and it's a lot better and easier to use now. So once you hit Save Changes, go back to your schedule page. All right, and then you can see it's added that in there nicely. Good. So, see how it says instant access? If I wanted to link this to something, what I could do is actually this links to it. So, I have my link now. I'll go back to edit the table. Go back to that cell that you added your image. If you want to make, make the image linked, um, what you're going to do is highlight the entire, all this text, all this code, and then click on link. Paste your link in. I want to open it to a new tab. Uh, you can leave the link text out. Add link. Hit OK. Save changes. Oops. Well, it's linking. <laughs> so let's go back. Try that again. Okay, so I had accidentally typed in. That was just something that I clicked a key. Don't worry about that. So let's go down, and refresh the page, and now you have your nice image. And if you click on it, it opens up to a PDF. All right, so now I'm just going to quickly cover centering this. Um, that's not in the toolbar, but I just want to include it. It's very simple. All you have to do is go to the very beginning of everything, 
type in a center tag and then go to the end do your end center and if you just look closely at the video you'll be able to see exactly what I typed um, you know not too advanced right in the front right in the back right at the end and we'll hit save changes and you can see that it is now centered in the table all right so now let's say I want to just link some text within it so I'll say click in within this cell here delete it say this is a link all right so I'm gonna highlight it and click on link and then you have the option to put in the URL or you can link it to just a page within the website so I'll link it to subscribe to my blog I don't want it to open to a new window okay save changes all right so you can see it's a link now if they click on it it'll open up to this one all right the last thing we'll talk about is just so the toolbar what you can do with it so click in here you have the B the italic the link and the image those are the only ones you really need to worry about we already went over image and link and now we'll just go over you know what you can do with these two so if you click on here and you hit the B it'll add those tags and that'll make it bold if you highlight it again and then click italic that'll make it bold and italic so save that go back Okay, here it is right here. See how it's bold and italic? Total. All right, so that's it. This is another tutorial provided by Compete Now. WordPress and eMarketing tutorials give you keys to your web presence, putting you in fast success. Plenty more on our website at startcompeting.com tutorials.